Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who will you be dating in the near future and how will it look like. And today, today, today is the 27th of July, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 8.08 p.m. Ooh, 8.08 p.m. That could be your angel number. Anyway, Virgo, I'm giving away a free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page <clears throat> weekly. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Who will Virgo date? in the near future and how would it look like Virgo please bear in mind that this is a general reading may or may not resonate with you if you want a more accurate reading you can book me all info is below oh my gosh okay and hit like share and subscribe it's free to subscribe whoa Oh my gosh okay the fool at the bottom of the deck could be an aries could be a virgo capcom taurus taurus for some of you some of you maybe this is the person you're currently dating okay if you're single then these are the people i'm saying people because there are two right here unless it's just one but you look at the two of pentacles and the two of swords oh my gosh these two cards actually came out in your last reading check out your last reading I have been feeling like I've mentioned this before, but a lot of your readings are like a continuation, um, part one, part two, part three. So make sure you check out the older videos, older I, older I mean like a few hours ago. As you guys already know, if you've been here before, you know that I post very very frequently. Um, hmm. Who are you going to be dating in the near future? You have two options, Virgo. Now, a lot of people think that tarot, you know, predictions are set in stone and it's not true. We all have free will most of the time. So you have two options. But both, good news is Virgo, both are serious about you. Both are serious about you. You can choose either one of these two. But both are serious about you. One is slightly younger than the other. Unless it's just one person, then, you know, very stable energy. Virgo, Capcom, Taurus. Look at the four wands. Number four indicates stability as well. And the Knight of Pentacles is the most stable, loyal knight of all knights. However, Knight of Pentacles can be a bit boring, okay, because they have a routine, they're disciplined, they, and it's not a bad thing, okay, Virgo, and you are an earth sign, like, for me, I'm a Virgo, Sag, well, Sun, Moon, Rising, Moon is Cancer, Rising is Sag, Sagittarius, so I've got fire in my chart, some, some Virgos who have fire in their chart, um, they may not be like, a, I wouldn't say not like a true Virgo, but not as like grounded or earthy as the ones who have like other, a mixture of other um, signs in their chart. But um, anyway, Virgo, it's not a bad thing. Some of you might see it as a bad thing because they're not as, not as exciting or not as adventurous but they are loyal but they are committed they are hardworking. so it's a good thing okay virgo and for a lot of you i think a lot of you would like that because again virgos usually have got a good head on their shoulders and want stability um security comfort and i see that in here and full wants could mean marriage moving in together or just basically having like a very stable connection where i can also see both of you have this this routine right whoever you choose i feel like it's it's gonna be similar so 
um, similar energy, which is again having some sort of routine together, waking up together, doing things together, or possibly have similar interests as well, okay? Or going to the gym together. There's something, there's something about, I feel, in this connection where both of you are going to be doing a lot of things together and can rely on each other, can depend on each other, can trust each other. This is the most trustworthy knight of all knights. And same goes to the page of pentacles. It's a pentacle too. So unless it's the same person, but for some of you, Virgo, you have a choice to both look, you know, pretty good. It's just your preference, but it could also be just one person. Now the tower could mean that this is an unexpected union or you might unexpectedly meet this person. The tower is like also somebody could mean um, rebuilding, right? Rebuilding a connection that has ended or didn't work out for whatever reason and reconciling and this time around doing it the right way. Some of you could be that. If not, it could be somebody completely new. Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles in one first. I see a lot of sparks because of the thunder, the lightning here. And two of pentacles in one verse indicates a choice that has been made. So that means this is somebody when you see them or they see you, it's like, yes, there's sparks flying everywhere. It could be love at first sight, or it could also be like, yes, amongst like all of these people, I can see myself being with Virgo or you can see yourself being with them. Okay, and the tower, you can't ignore the tower because it's loud, thunder, lightning. So it's very clear. However, what's going to make this connection unclear is, is if this happens, it's, it's because you may have options. Okay, two, two aces here and both are in reverse. I feel like it's going to be a very unconventional connection or relationship. Or, well, relationship that I feel is not just going to be, that's not going to, it's not going to end in just like a dating phase. It feels like it's going to um, move further or evolve. Have fun in one verse and in two sorts of verse. It could mean also that maybe this is somebody very different from a usual type or has a different ethnicity, different religion or this could be a very unconventional connection where it could be long distance or um, or it could be that this person is a divorcee okay the hierophant in reverse it could mean that but and for those of you virgos if you're one of those virgos who would say Oh, I'm not going to be with this person because this person has been married before or because this person has children or because this person is a different race or if this person is a different religion, what they believe in, what I believe or what I've been taught to believe is completely different. You might be shocked that you might end up choosing to date them. Okay. Just very, very different. Let's see more. Both of you probably will take a new leap of faith together. Starting over. It could be starting over with someone you've known before or someone completely new. Let's see more. Virgo, look. King of Pentacles. Page of Wands in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles here. So I feel like this is somebody who is hardworking, has money, or you can see that they're going to have money eventually because they are very disciplined, um, hardworking, or they have a dad who has money, could mean that as well. Page of Wands in one first, could be a fire sign, I'm seeing fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, can be any sign, okay, but Page of Wands in one first, maybe this is somebody also whom has been exploring traveling but decided to not travel anymore 
and decides to oh my gosh this just made me realize something never mind <laughs> somebody who decides not to travel anymore and just decides to settle down because the king of pentacles is like putting roots down and if you look at this much closer Virgo can you see that it's almost like he's got roots like he's close everything around him it's like it feels like he's stuck on the ground he even looks like a tree with all the greens green is money this part even looks like a stump wow and it's so stuck right and it even feels like gooey or glue glue to to the soil to the ground it feels can you see that it feels like as though he's got roots coming out well you can't actually see that but it's going deep down into the soil so Virgo it could mean that this is somebody who is going to settle down for you commit for you or relocate for you it could mean that um willing to take a new leap of faith with you with a full eight of pentacles willing to put in a lot of work into this connection or that this is somebody like super hard working has money or will have a lot of money let's see a bit more here for a go three of swords and two of wands and reverse this is somebody who is most likely not gonna try or deliberately hurt you or hurt you again or break your heart four pentacles and one first Ooh, right next to King of Pentacles. This is good. So that means, Virgo, this is somebody who is going to be very generous with you. It's going to be willing to spend on you. Spend with you. Um, luxury, because the King of Pentacles definitely is somebody who is rich or will be rich. If they're not rich now, they will be. And when they become rich, they will be very, very generous with you. Okay willing to spend on you but i feel like for somebody maybe this connection will take a lot of work because of these differences either it's because of some of it could be age gap again or different background or location issues could also be a divorce somebody who has been divorced but it could also mean that whatever you believe that your partner should be or should look like may be very different. But it's going to work, right? Some of you, you may not have met this person yet. Two of swords. Or you may have two options. And it is your choice, right? And for some of you, this could be somebody you may have rejected before or they may have rejected you before or that connection that like took off and then, I mean, started and then didn't take off. Anyway, just ooh, look at the two ones. There's another two here. But I feel like there's going to be a spark between the two of you. If there wasn't a spark before, there would be a renewed spark um, or a spark that has never actually died down okay like it continues it could mean that as well all right Frego, this is your reading hope it serves you well don't forget to hit like share and subscribe it's free to subscribe so make sure you subscribe especially if you've been here before and especially if you want more updates in all of your readings to all of your readings that i post very very often click on the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time i post your videos and please subscribe to my other channels, Chelsea Love Tarot, which is my main channel, and Chelsea Vlogs, my fun travel channel. Take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again very, very soon. Love ya. Bye.